Hi guys, we're out here with another glow model, even with a eyedropper tank, and a Cox Peewee 020. So you've seen that kind of plan form before. This is a practically brand new motor. I actually almost regret running this after I found out. I, I, look guys, I used to find Peewee 020s in buckets, like buckets full of them at swap meets for like $5. I mean, people couldn't even give the things away practically. And now, y'all just go have a look on Cox International's website, if they even still have this thing in stock. The prices are absurd. Even for used ones, they are absurd. Uh, anyway, uh, this one's got a really nifty needle valve assembly on it. So, um, case has been drilled for um, needle... Er, sorry, there we go. Has been uh, drilled for eyedropper tank usage, so... Anyway, all that. Um, anyway, this is an airplane called a Kerswap. Yeah, if you're wondering, my wife literally did ask, is that the sound it makes when it hits the ground? In fact, according to its designer, Gil Morris, uh, as, I, as I understand it, that is in fact where the name came from. Uh, anyway, regardless, uh, if you look at this thing, I mean, really long tail. Uh, and big stab, polyhedral wing, um, the looks of a good gas model, right? Except this one was designed in 1941, if not slightly prior. Um, so very, uh, very, very interesting, you know, very effective design for its time. Uh, the original was only 42 inches, which, okay, that's a pretty good size airplane, right? Except they put, he put an Olsen 19 on it, which is a very large engine for a free flight model this size. So it was fairly heavy, heavily loaded, designed to climb very quickly uh, and have enough under camber in here to uh, give you a decent glide and the stability to make the most of that power and make a good glide transition. Now this one is only 31 inches uh, wingspan and it is set up for the Peewee, uh, Peewee, yeah right, the O20 uh, replica event for Society of Antique Modelers. Very popular, very fun event. Um, ooh, what's that blue thing back there? Just thought I'd... Yeah. Anyway, um, so this one uh, has a radio call sign on it there. Uh, former, uh, still, I think still technically a current member of Thermal Thumbers, uh, Whit Russell, but he's retired from flying, uh, at least flying free flight, and so I was given this airplane. Uh, at the time, no engine was on it. It was designed, set up for a uh, TD-020, and I'm just flying it on the Peewee because I can. That's literally the only reason I can. Um, and I need another timer. I have timers. I'm just stingy with them. Whatever. Uh, bottom line, cool little airplane. Uh, has a very nice glide. Uh, and, of course, at this size, uh, built with no minimum weight, it's, you know, it's 120 grams, so it's a, a very nice, light flying airplane. Uh, and it's got close to 200 square inches of wing, I think. 150? Yeah, I, nah, I guess it's only 150, but that's a lot for an airplane this size. So anyway, I uh, hope you'll enjoy seeing some of the flight footage of this. Uh, plans for the 42-inch version in several forms are available on Outer Zone. I think AMA Plan Service may have the O20 replica version. I've seen it before. Um, if I find it, it'll be in the links below for, you know, access, whatever way you may have to pay. If it's through AMA, you'll have to pay. Uh, if it's in my collection, it'll be as a free download. So you'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, uh, enjoy some footage of the famed Kerswap. Oh, by the way, before you enjoy footage of the Kerswap, let me show you something kind of cool. You're about to see a video I personally filmed um, about 10 years ago, 10, no, 12 years ago, of Gil Morris, the designer, flying one of his flapped F1C uh, World Championship power planes. Uh, to my knowledge, I believe Gil is still flying, last I heard. Um, so, designed this in 1941, and still at it, and one of the top flyers in the country. So, we'll see you. Oh, he, he, he stands like this.
And when he knows he, where the... And we're gonna go stalling off towards trees, I guess. Yeah. We don't know which way we're going. Oh well. Don't go over there. Nope, you're going over there. Crud. We had uh, a fuse tail come off the fuselage, and Success. there comes the tail. Oh, you stupid thing! Now I know why it came off. <laughs> so uh, could be worse. He took the rubber. He took the rubber band, which was. Uh, held the stab on off with the pole, not knowing it. So, could be a lot worse of an outcome. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.